a nice day today. Most of the country has woken up to crazy snow. All the schools are having snow days. We actually didn't really get any snow here. Oh, my necklace is the wrong way around. We didn't really get any snow here, but it is very frosty. Like everything's covered in a frost. This is the most peaceful I felt in the morning in a long time. It feels like we're out of autumn. This feels like a proper wintry morning anyway. Today, I am heading off on the train very soon in about 10 minutes to head to one of my best, best, best friend's wedding, which is so exciting. It's actually the first of my friends to get married and I'm a bridesmaid, which is so fun. But to get there, I have a train journey for a few hours and I'm confident I've mentioned it before. If you know me, you know how much I love reading a book on a train. It's just like the most romantic, peaceful, wholesome, lovely thing. I can't explain it. Reading a book on a train is just, anyway, I rarely get the opportunity to get the train these days for like a long journey out into the countryside. So we're heading to one of the most beautiful parts of the country, in my opinion. The wedding is in the Cotswolds and I've got a two, two and a half hour train journey once I get to London Paddington to read my book on a train. So the plans for this video are gonna be very chilled, very relaxed. I don't have a structure. We're just gonna have a few really cozy, wintry, bookish days together. Reading cozy books, sitting by the fire. It's gonna be so nice. I'm so excited. I want to properly slow down before the full festive mayhem begins and bookmas begins. And I just wanna have one video of peace and calm and cozy, wintry goodness. So that is what this is gonna be. I need to go get my train. It's gonna be a slow and peaceful one. So grab yourself a drink, relax and yeah, you can probably tell. I feel like half sedated. I don't know why I feel so calm today, but it's so nice. So let's go get the train and let's start reading. officially back from the wedding. It was so nice. It's so fun seeing, oh, I've got a little dog with me at the moment. Um, it's so nice seeing one of your best friends get married. Like I said, that was the first time seeing one of my friends get married and it was so, it was, it was so special. It was so nice. It's always so nice when Pete comes to stay. I love having a dog in the house. Anyway, books. I managed to read a decent amount on the train of the assistant to the villain. I'm really enjoying it. I wish I was able to get through it a little bit quicker. It's very lighthearted, quite funny. Well, very funny, very non-serious. I like, it's really nice to just, at the end of a day, especially like the end of a tough day, it's just like a perfect, like fluffy, swoony romance where the main girl, Evie, who's funny, is just basically lusting after her boss. And it's it's funny, like I'm genuinely enjoying it. It's not particularly hard hitting. I don't think I've got into like the meat of the plot, 
I don't know if it's gonna be an especially plot heavy book. I think it just is like fluffy and fun. Yeah, I think I'm probably like halfway in. Anyway, I feel like I've been reading that book now for like easily a week. It's been a slow situation of me not having loads of time to read. I need audiobooks right now. I think that's where I'm at. Until I get to like properly slow down and start reading some of the festive books that I wanna read over the Christmas period, I need audiobooks because everything is just so busy. And when you're like wrapping presents and stuff, it's just an audiobook is what you want. Anyway, I've been listening to an audiobook. <laughs> it makes me kind of blush, even <laughs> talking about it. I have been listening to the audiobook Lights Out by Navessa Allen. Now, if you've already read this audiobook, if you've already listened to it or read the book, then you know why I can't look at you. But listen, I'm not a dark romance girl like it's just not who i am i haven't read what's it called like haunting adeline is that that feels like that's like the massive book talk dark romance that was very popular i haven't read anything like that i read butcher and blackbird and it didn't really suit me so i don't know why i thought that i would enjoy lights out when it is described as a dark romance and the trigger warnings at the beginning, like the significant list of stalking, murder, cannibalism, and then like all of the fetishes. It's, it's, the spice is so aggressive, as are the like dark themes. <laughs> and I quite like it. I don't know what that says about me. I don't know what, <laughs> listen, listen, I'm trying to justify. Honestly, the dark romance girls must just feel like they have to justify themselves all the time um, when they shouldn't have to. We are all entitled to enjoy whatever it is that we want to enjoy. Anyway, I saw so many recommendations for this audiobook, being like the audiobook is just incredible. And it is. I have no idea what it would be like reading this book. You have to listen to the audiobook. It's a duet, obviously, if this book is your type of thing. It's a duet and his voice is fantastic. It's funny, like it's so dry humor. It's, I think it's so funny. I've been so like shocked so many times, but I think that's just like my delicate sensibilities, not being used to how like full on some of like dark romance can be. Also, I've just had a week of like YA and no spice. And then I've gone into like the most spice aggressive book I've ever read. <laughs> I still feel like I can't look at you, like don't look at me. Anyway. All I can tell you is, whatever it says about me, I don't know or care, I highly recommend it. It's, I, I can't, I'm vibing. Me and this book are vibing and I don't know what to tell you. So if you think that you might like a great audiobook that's funny, this is what it looks like, lights out. The story follows, you're gonna see how ridiculous it is when I tell you. The story follows Ali and Josh, the male and female characters. Ali is a trauma nurse and has a mask fetish, like men in masks or something, I don't know. Uh, and Josh has an Instagram account of that, like he does that. And all these women on the internet swoon over him and Ali swoons over him. Anyway, he ends up stalking her and one thing leads to another. And he's a stalker and she falls for her stalker slash the guy that she lost over on the internet. It's all outside of my comfort zone for a book, I have to say. Oh, he wants to get out. Like I said, I'm blushing. I've come a long way since rereading Jane Eyre over and over again because of how much I loved it. And now I'm listening to books like Lights Out. But that is the joy of adulthood. We get to do whatever we want and exploring different stories through these three little books is one of the biggest joys ever. So I highly recommend, but proceed with caution. The beginning of the audiobook is also so funny because the two of them duet, like reading out all the trigger warnings. And then they basically say something along the lines of like, well, if you're still planning on listening to this book after, after all of those trigger warnings, come on then, you wanna come back up here? After listening to all those trigger warnings, then like, that's on you. Anyway, it's so funny. The humor in it is so good. I think the first place that I saw it recommended was Heather's Book Club. I don't know if you follow Heather. I'll link her page. I love her content so much. I think she is so funny and has a completely different taste in books to me. But every now and again, I like to dip into her book recs and it's so fun just reading something totally different. And I love her content. Anyway, I'll tag her. So she was the one that was like, you have to listen to this audiobook, so I did it. Anyway, that's what I'm listening to right now. 
I think I am. Yeah, I'm almost finished. I've got an hour and 50 minutes left. I've got two hours left. And it was like a nine, 10 hour audiobook, something like that. So I'm a decent chunk of the way through. Once I finish that, I'm definitely gonna need another audiobook to, can you see her there? <laughs> yeah. This evening, my plans are to get a fire lit. I really want to do some book journaling. I'll either do book journaling tonight or tomorrow morning, depending on how much other work I need to get done. And I will be audiobooking whilst I do that. I'm also so keen to read, is it called The Metal Slinger? I think it's having like a huge surge of people absolutely loving it and saying it's just insanely good. And so I might start reading that on my Kindle once I finish this and so once I finish this into the villain. Anyway, that's me getting sidetracked. Tonight, fire, hopefully some book journaling, inevitably finishing lights out tonight, something lovely for dinner. I think I've got some fresh pasta in the fridge, which would be excellent. So like I said, the vibe this week is just very peaceful, cozy, chill. We're not like burning rapidly through books. We're just reading when it feels good, listening to audiobooks when we've got some time, puppy cuddles, the temperatures have plummeted. We're doing a fire every night at the moment. It's feeling super cozy, super wintry, and I'm loving it. I now just can't wait till we get to start decorating for Christmas and we still don't have up our tree or anything like that, but that's all to come in Vlogmas. For now, let's get the fire lit. Should we light the fire? Should we? <laughs> Should we light the fire? <laughs> Look at this face. <laughs> Look at this. Look at you. Oh. Yes. You just like to be curled up on a lap at all times. Thank you. That's so nice. Let the cozy evening commence. Yes.
I'm so not used to having like a flat hairband, but you're gonna have to get used to seeing me in more of these type of things because I am on a mission right now to train my hair so I can wash it less because I love my hair health. Like I try and take really good care of it, but the one thing that I'm really bad at is I wash it so frequently. Anyway, this is a total tangent. I'm just trying to get used to seeing myself in one of these headbands. I feel like it's so flat to my head. I feel like it looks strange, but I do love the color. I feel like it's a very Christmassy color. Anyway, I don't just don't look at myself and then <laughs> I'm fine. But my greasy hair has to stay tucked under headbands more often than usual now. Anyway, I finished Lights Out. Gosh, I forgot what it was called there for a second. I finished Lights Out last night. It was a vibe. I just, I look, I already said it yesterday. That book was a vibe. I genuinely recommend it. If you listen to all the trigger warnings and you think, yeah, let's go, let's do this, let's let's go on this journey, then I honestly think you'll really enjoy it. If you listen to the trigger warnings and you're like, what? And feel like completely repulsed by it, do not proceed. I clearly was just feeling a bit adventurous and I loved it. I honestly feel like I'm gonna give it like 4.5, maybe like 4.75. <laughs> I just, barreled through the entire thing. You have to listen to the audiobook. The audiobook is compulsory. That was the best audiobook I've listened to, probably, or like one of the best. It was so, so good. So finish that. I do think the second half of the book, the reason why it doesn't get five stars is because I think the plot in the second half of the book, when like the mob gets involved, that's really not a spoiler, but like the mob gets involved in the second half of the book. And I feel like that plot, I almost feel like it should have just stayed a romance and it should have just been about like, them and their spark and them like building a relationship together and they shouldn't have got like it was almost like the writer was like oh i don't really have anything else to say so i'm now going to introduce like a plot point that sits outside of their relationship but there doesn't always have to be a plot you know what i mean like nothing really happens in elsie silver's books and i love them so I think that kind of docks it down a little bit but i still barreled through it like once i got right to the end the spice did i only felt this way right at the end like last night like last night i was in bed listening to the epilogue and anyway it was a very spicy epilogue so sorry if that is a little bit of a spoiler but that the spice is throughout the entire book right and then towards the end i was a bit like okay i've got it i've got the gist now like i'm not i'm not like squealing and blushing and like oh my gosh did i really just listen to that did someone just say that out loud i've no idea how these voice actors like are capable of just like dead straight saying these things but I yeah towards the end I was a bit like okay I've got it I've got it I've got the gist but I did I loved it so much so 4.5 for lights out and now I'm gonna read a good girl's guide to murder I'm clearly on this kind of mystery murdery kind of vibe at the moment I loved the naturals it was so good I've now just loved lights out and now we're going to read A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I'm actually going to listen to it because, as I said, at the moment, trying to get through a physical copy book is just not happening. It's taking way too much time in terms of days to get through a physical copy book. And I think I've realised over the last however long, probably a few months, that I am just not myself when I'm not reading. Like, I don't feel as good in myself. I don't feel as, like, carefree. I don't feel as grounded. I don't know how both carefree and grounded, like, go together, but somehow they just do. When I'm in the middle of a story, I just feel more at peace. I, I, it makes me happy to be in the middle of a story. It helps take me, I feel like I've been on my phone a lot. Like, but when I was just reading Assistant to the Villain last week, like, that's when I was getting really overwhelmed. That's when I needed to do my reset and, I think it's honestly because it's not because of it's there's loads of things that contribute to it but i do think that when i'm not reading a book i spend more time online that's when the comparison mindset comes in and then i started thinking like oh everyone that like creates bookish content is all like younger than me or whatever and i so don't care about age like anyway everyone's comments on my last video have been so nice i genuinely genuinely don't which is why i was like i don't actually think the things that my like intrusive thoughts were making me think but sometimes those thoughts just get in your head until you realise they're completely ridiculous. But anyway, I think reading gets me off my phone, gets me away from like excessive consumption of social media and other people and like what they're up to. Anyway, so now that I've acknowledged that reading a physical copy book is not that practical right now, audiobooks, it is. If you have any good audiobook recommendations for me, please send them my way. I am so excited to get into some really good audiobooks over the next like week or two before I feel like I'm going to be able to slow down and get through the physical copies again. 
I don't normally like to do this because I have the physical copy of A Good Girl's Guide to Murder and I've now bought it on Audible which means I've basically paid for this book twice so don't love that but I have wanted to read this book for so long I actually started it in June and read like not a lot I read I read like 25 pages or something like that not very many so I'm just gonna start it again on the audiobook I think I'm gonna love it it's quite nice that it's an English book like it's set in England the narrator's English like got an English accent um, so many of the books I consume are American and it's just like quite fun to be like oh I did an EPQ I remember doing my extended project qualification at school and it just like has all those memories like coming back and how you've got your advisor and now you have to do like the logs of what you're doing and like all the production logs that she's got in here anyway so I'm really excited about this I know that it is such a popular book to the extent that there's now there's now a show is it on Netflix I think of this people say that the book is much better than the show so obviously I'm starting with the book but yeah I'm so excited to get into this so I'm going to start listening to this today right now I'm not giving it even 24 hours without diving into my next book and I'm going to keep reading Assistant to the Villain in bed at the end of the day and I'm just accepting like there is no daytime reading happening at the moment it's when I get into bed, half an hour before bed, read a few pages of my book and I'm very comfortable with that. And Assistant to the Villain is a good book for that as well because it's so just like light and fluffy and easy to just drift me off to sleep. If you want to see my thoughts on A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, then check out my Goodreads, but also I've recently downloaded Fable. Anyone use Fable? I think Fable could be the way forward. The like user experience, like the user interface of it, is so much better than Goodreads. Goodreads looks like it was one of the first websites invented and it just, I can't believe it hasn't had a proper update in so long. But Fable's looking really good. I haven't quite figured out how to use it exactly yet and I'm still in a weird way preferring Goodreads but I think that's just because I'm used to Goodreads. So I will link my Fable page if you want to follow me on there if you already use Fable. And then once I've worked out Fable enough because you can literally import there's literally a button that you click and you just import all your goodreads reviews into fable so i'm still working it out but i might be switching i might be abandoning goodreads altogether and purely switching to fable in the near future once i've like got it cracked i'm still kind of using goodreads for now and when i want to know people's thoughts on a book i am looking it up on goodreads so we'll see how we go but anyway i'll link my fable if you want to follow me on there because there might be a transition happening soon. And if you already use Fable, let me know what you think. But yeah, the reason I'm talking about Fable and Goodreads because if you want to see my thoughts on A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, follow me on there because I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to update you on what I thought of this until, I don't know when, maybe never. Maybe it's not gonna get a dedicated review. Maybe it's gonna have to be a Goodreads review because next week, bookmas starts. My first ever bookmas begins next week. I don't actually know what day episode one is going to be, whether it will be on Wednesday, like my normal uploads, or if it's going to be a bit sooner, because I'm going to try and do a video, I think, every other day during Bookmas. I don't know. We're just going to see how we go. So if you're not already subscribed, then please do and put the notification bell on so you can see when I've uploaded, or just like come check my page whenever you fancy jumping onto YouTube and just see what see what's available, because I don't know exactly when all the videos are going to go up, but... There's gonna be a lot of them and I'm so excited. Right, that was a lot of yapping and that is actually it for today's video. I know it's been like a little bit of a shorter one or it feels like a much shorter one to me this week. I'm sorry about that, I hope you're okay with that. But it's just been a very slow few days in general. Just trying to get myself organized, not putting too much pressure on myself to get through too many books. It's actually been a really nice reading few days. Loved Lights Out, Assistant to the Villain's great. Can't wait to read A Good Girl's Guide. And I'm so ready for the festive content to begin. I hope you're all having such a lovely week. I can't wait to see you in Bookmas. If there are any particular Bookmas videos you want me to do, let me know. We're seriously running out of time for me to add anything else to the schedule. But if there's anything you want, let me know and I'll see if I can squeeze it in there. I can't wait to see you in the first episode of Bookmas. Thank you so, so, so much for watching guys and I can't wait to see you in the next